Okay, I'm going to show you how to inoculate from a plate to a plate. First thing we always do is you want to sterilize the loop. Get it so it's nice glowing red. Hold it in the flame for a bit. Then let it cool. You do not want to go directly into the sample because you will basically hear a sizzling, which means you've just killed everything. So let it cool a bit. Do not be waving it around in the air because you could pick up contamination. You always want to be working within six to eight inches of your flame. That is considered your sterile area. You move way outside of that and you're no longer in a sterile area. This is our stock plate, so I'm going to take a sample from it. You just need to lift the lid. Ideally, try to find an isolated colony. Just gently scoop some up. Go to your next plate, lift the lid. We are not going for isolation, we just want growth. So I'm just going to streak gently back and forth across the plate. Try not to dig the loop into the media. That's a learned thing. You, I do it often by feel. When you're done, you need to flame your loop again. You still have bacteria on there, so you need to sterilize it. Get it nice and glowy. This plate is done now. The second plate, and the first plate you notice was pink. It's called a McConkie auger. It is selective and differential. It is selective in that only gram-negative bacteria will grow on it. And then it is differential in that, depending on how it grows, you can tell a difference in the color as to whether the organism is a lactose fermenter or not. We'll look at these after they have grown and explain the results at that time. Once again, I have flame this, so now I need to... Once again, go into my stock plate, pick a sample. Now what I'm going to do on this TSA plate, triplicate soy auger plate, it's like nutrient auger, most everything will grow on it. I'm going to do a streak isolation. We want to end up with individual colonies. In this first area, I'm going to do a heavy streak back and forth. Now I'm going to flame my loop. Let it cool. I do not go back into the stock plate. I'm going to go back into the area that I just streaked. That is where my inoculum is. You may want to turn the plate a little 90 degrees to help you with that. Go into the area you just streaked. That is where you're pulling your inoculum from. Streak out. Now I flip the loop over at this point. Go into that second quadrant area and streak out. The idea is you're diluting the bacteria out, so at the end you will have isolated colonies. Each individual colony, the idea is that it arose from a single individual bacteria and is a pure colony. So if you have a mixed culture, this is an easy way of trying to isolate out and get your pure culture. So both of these plates have now been inoculated. Now what I'm going to do is inoculate a slant. This is a Simmons citrate slant. I'm going to inoculate that once again going from this stock plate. By the way, the bacteria we are using is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It is a gram-negative organism commonly found in the soil. It can also cause um, various infections in humans. We're going to flame the lip of the test tube to sterilize anything in there. Bring our loop down to the bottom, and then just streak up. The idea that our inoculum, our bacteria, is going to inoculate along that slant of the tube. Flame the lip of the tube again before closing it, and once again, flame your loop. The next tube that we're going to inoculate, this is a little different than what you may be used to. This is called a TSI, triple uh, sugar iron plate. We initially will inoculate the way you're used to, pull a sample off of our stock plate. As always, flame the loop. You are going to streak up the slant like we just did in the previous two.
flame your loop. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. Make sure this loop is flamed. We are done with the loop for right now. Now we are going to use the straight needle. <coughs> Excuse me. You flame it just like you would your loop. What, when this cools off, what we're going to do is touch in the, the colony again on our stock plate. And this time we're going to do a stab down into the bottom part of the tube, which is referred to the butt of the tube. So we are going to get our sample. Once again, flame our tube. You have already streaked along the slant. So hopefully you can see this. We are going to take the needle just straight in, down, back up. Flame the loop or the needle again. What we've done is the bottom part of the tube, set this aside to cool. We have inoculated down in this area. This is this is the slant, this is the butt. We are going to look, depending on the organism, sometimes you get different results on the slant versus the butt. So that's what we are looking for. Some organisms you will get the same result, some you will get different results. So that's what we're going to be looking for. That's why we have to stab down into the butt. 